You can connect two expression pedals directly to the profiler, and there are four additional inputs for expression pedals on the remote. The factory default pedal assignments are as follows. Pedal 1, Volume. Pedal 2, Morph. Pedal 3, Volume. Pedal 4, Morph. Pedal 5, Wah. Pedal 6, Pitch. You can, of course, completely change these assignments according to your needs in the system menu. There are a few useful settings for the volume pedal which can be stored separately for each rig. Press the rig button and navigate to the volume pedal settings page. The actual position of the volume pedal in the signal chain is set with location. At pre-stomps and post-stomps, the position of the volume pedal will have an influence on the degree of distortion. If pre or post effects is selected, the pedal controls the total volume of the rig and no longer affects the gain of the stack. At pre effects, the reverb and delay signal is not affected when the pedal is moved. At post effects, the volume pedal is positioned at the end of the signal chain and reverb and delay signals are affected. The range parameter sets the range of the volume pedal. If you set it to minus 5, the tuner will automatically be shown in the display when the pedal is in the heel position. The tuner display does not appear if you set the range to minus 4.9. Even at this setting, no signal can be heard when the pedal is in the heel position. You can also prevent this behaviour by deactivating tuner at volume 0 in the tuner display. Enter the tuner mode and press the soft button 4 to uncheck the option. Now the tuner display will not show up on any of the rigs when the volume pedal is in the heel position. You can also use the volume pedal to adjust your solo volume. If you set the range to minus 2, the volume does not go down to 0 in the heel position, but instead you have about 60% of the total volume in that position. In the toe position, you get 100% for the solo volume. <laughs> If you set the range to a positive value, the pedal works like a booster. In the heel position, you get the normal rig volume, while the toe position generates a boost of approximately 10 dB, at a setting of plus 2. The maximum possible boost level is plus 24 dB. If you activate the lock volume pedal function, the pedal settings will work for all rigs in the profiler. <laughs> The values for the WAR pedal parameters are set in the edit menu of the WAR effect. In addition to the standard WAR, there are other WAR effects in the profiler, such as WAR vowel filter or WAR ring modulator, all controlled by the same pedal. In this rig, the WAR is in stomp A, so press and hold the button until the edit menu appears in the display. On page 2, the pedal mode can be set. When set to touch, the pedal is deactivated and the wah effect is controlled by the dynamics of your playing. When set to on, the effect can be controlled continuously with the pedal. Bypass at stop means that the wah effect is automatically deactivated as soon as the pedal is no longer moved. Bypass at heel will turn the wah effect off when the pedal is in the heel position. Bypass at toe is similar, 
Here the wah effect is switched off when the pedal is in the toe position. With morphing, you can blend seamlessly between two sound settings within a single rig. For example, you can control the amount of distortion using a pedal. First, you select the gain setting for the heel position. Then, you set the gain value for the toe position. Now, this range can be seamlessly controlled by the pedal. You do not have to make any special settings for the morphing, the profiler will remember everything automatically. You should not forget to save the rig though. Detailed tutorials on morphing are available in another tutorial video. For total control, you should use four pedals. Any available function will be controlled by a dedicated pedal. I connected the pedals directly to the remote and used the factory assignments. Pedal 3 for volume, 4 for morph, 5 for wah, and pedal 6 for pitch. The assignments of the pedals are done in the system menu. You press the system button and navigate to the pedal 3 page. These are the settings for pedal 3. Mode is set to pedal type 1 and function is set to volume. Everything is already prepared. You can change the settings with the two soft knobs. If you connect a new pedal, it has to be calibrated. Click on the soft button 1 and sweep the pedal from heel to toe. The bar underneath the calibrate button will reflect the movement. Use the page button to move to the next page. You will find the menu for pedal 4, morph, then pedal 5, wah, and then pedal 6, pitch. You can reduce your setup if you use the same pedal for controlling pitch and morph alternately. If a rig uses both at the same time, they will be controlled simultaneously. To do this, press the system button and go to the pedal links page. Then press the soft button 4. This activates the morph pedal to pitch function. Now I can control the pitch functions with the morph pedal. You should take into account that the pitch function must always be picked up from the heel position. Using two pedals is a good compromise that saves space on stage but still allows you to control all parameters with expression pedals. In this case the wah function is also assigned to the morph pedal. We now have pedal 3 for volume and pedal 4 for morph, wah and pitch. To achieve this, please press the system button, navigate to the pedal links page and click on the soft button 2. Morph pedal to wah. When a wah effect is activated in a rig, it will now be controlled by the morph pedal. It is also possible to control the wah and morph simultaneously with this pedal. This is the most economical solution. A single pedal controls the wah, volume and pitch functions. The morph function is now controlled by the rig buttons on the remote. To do this, the morph function must be assigned to the rig buttons on the remote in the system menu. Press the system button and navigate to the user interface page. Rig button morph must be activated with soft button 2. This is already the case in the factory default settings. Now you can control the morph function via the rig buttons.
Let's look at the assignments for the expression pedal. I connected the mission pedal to the output 6 on the remote. This pedal is initially configured as a WAR pedal. I press the system button and go to the pedal page 6. I select mode 1 and select WAR pedal as the function. Now the pedal is configured to control the WAR effect. <laughs> The next step is to assign the volume and pitch function to the WAR pedal via the pedal link. To do this, I navigate to the pedal links page and activate WAR pedal to volume with soft button 1 and WAR pedal to pitch with soft button 3. The volume is now controlled by this pedal. When a WAR or pitch effect is activated, the pedal will automatically control these functions. The Mission EP1KP has an additional switch in the toe position, which for example can be used to control the status of a stomp. This saves me from having to use an additional foot switch to activate an effect. On the Mission website there is a detailed video about the settings for this pedal.